hey there everyone we are gonna create our custom scroll bar today we all know that we are pretty much bored of this default scroll bar and we don't want it anymore so let's change the scroll bar today so after this video you will be able to change the scroll bar as you want uh, so let's quickly see what are the possibilities of scroll bar so we can get some designs like this okay it is not my code pen actually but uh, whoever did that this is really a cool one and i'm gonna link this in the description below so check it out and here are some of the scroll bars so let's see okay these are pretty cool so you can you are not limited to this only so you can just create these all types of scroll bars and they are pretty amazing and cool and this is the default uh, scroll bar that we get in our chrome browser and others also you know and and cssstricks.com is also using custom scroll bar so we are gonna create our custom scroll bar too in this video so what we are gonna do today is we are gonna create two different types of scroll bars so this is the scroll bar for a whole website and this is for specific content and uh, this looks kind of cool this is small this is uh, comparatively larger and here is some uh, something hover effect going on so when we hover it's gonna change this color and yeah it's looking pretty cool and here something effect shadow effect is there and in here also we have some gradients and it's moving along yes i haven't put any content in here because it just looks messy like this one now when i put content in here it's just looking messy and it's not really looking cool so without getting late let's jump into the code editor and let's try to create this one so come to our html file and let's quickly type the exclamation mark and image is going to do its job so let's press uh, enter i press enter and it's gonna generate the boilerplate for us let's change the document to custom scroll bar i don't want that document to be in here there so i did this and i have another css file so we are gonna perform different steps in our css file we are not going to touch anything in here okay we will be touching something but uh, not that much <laughs> of the things so i'm gonna link the style sheet now as a um, styler css so we have same name here styler css so let's go and share the styler css but first let's just open this with live server so i'm using live server extension for the, this video so you can just definitely install the live server extension so i'm opening my website with live server extension you can see that our title has been changed in here so let's quickly do our thing yeah let's quickly change the scroll bars too so here we can see that we don't have any scroll bar yet so i just want to create one so body and i just want to change the background color because i think the white one is pretty good but uh, for this video i'm going to change the background color to tomato i don't know why i choose tomato i don't really like tomato but i choose the tomato color in here and after this i want to have a minimum height or let's just call it as usual height so height of less give it a 500 vs so 500 vertical height uh, means uh, viewport height it's vertical height means it's going to to be the five times of our screen uh, screen height so uh, obviously we are gonna get the scroll bar the default scroll bar so uh, why i use height is to get the scroll bar as usual so i got the scroll bar and we are gonna perform some tags on that scroll bar so first let's just uh, style this scroll bar only so uh, how we can style that one we have this pseudo class called uh, scroll bar so we are going to use it with webkit extension and webkit here will be scroll bar so let's target this and in here uh, scroll bar just indicates the whole scroll bar so here the whole scroll area so if you are getting confused then uh, i'll recommend you to come here and just look at this uh, figure so you will clearly understand what all these things are so here is the figure that's indicating where some items are and here is those items referenced so one is this one so a uh, webkit scroll bar so where i am so webkit scroll bar 
WebKit scroll bar is this whole thing going on in here is this is the number one so this is a pretty much helpful uh, website so i just recommend you to do go there and check them out i'm just going to change it to 15 pixel currently so i don't really want to interfere with that but right now you can see here we just manipulated some code and we're not getting any scroll bar here so for that uh, to get the scroll bar we have to really change other properties too so let's copy this one and come here and here we'll be having something different show track there is another property called track and let me show you some other properties also so let's go to this mdn uh, documentation and in here you can see different properties that are available different you can see that different uh, selectors or pseudo classes yeah these different selectors that are available uh, in our modern css that may be supported to different browser or may not be so here is the list of uh, uh, the supporting browsers for different uh, selectors yeah you can check them out and i'm gonna obviously link these uh, all the sources in the description below so let's go to our code editor and in here i'm gonna change the background color so right now if you can see let me show you R right now i can scroll uh, in the page but um, it's not really going to be that effective and we are not really seeing anything changing in here so now let's change the background right so let's change the background to uh, this one okay not this one really f5 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 this is a grayish color i i think yeah this is a grayish color but um that's uh, really looking some odd so let's change the border radius to 5 pixel it's a radius man okay now it's changing slightly it has slightly changed but in here you can see that uh, we don't really have uh, the white color but we instead we have this black color so I'm gonna change it to 333 and we are gonna get that black color in here so uh, we are getting this uh, track but we're not getting a scroll bar like this and which is also increasing uh, so I have to really decrease the width to 10 pixels all right all right and I just don't need border radius anymore in here and uh, track uh, what does it mean by uh, this track so track means where our scroll thumb so here is this scroll thumb so this is the scroll thumb where we are clicking this move uh, moving thing is the scroll thumb and track is the place where it is moving so it is moving over the track so this is the track and our thumb is moving over the track and right now we are gonna customize our thumb also so let's target our thumb uh, okay I we gonna target our thumb like this uh let's do this and let's just change it to sorry uh let's just change it into red and how this looks like so it's not like this it's red and let's see how this all looks like okay we are not getting that one what is the problem oh it's uh, not track thumb it's only thumb right yeah we are getting this red kind of things but we don't really want this radius thing instead we want our scroll bar to have this gradient color so i have copied the gradient color and i'm gonna put it in here before that i'm just going to change the border radius because i just want some curvy radius or curve radius so, 5 pixel yeah that's gonna be good and instead of this uh, background red only we just want to put our linear gradient so let's put this one here okay uh, i'm not freaked up okay here it will be a background and now let's just sorry let's now format this one okay i'm not getting the option to format this thing
okay that's pretty okay uh, let's just grab this all and let's just indent it manually so here it looks like this and now yeah we are getting our scroll bar here so right now we are getting our scroll bar but we cannot see if we are moving in here or not in the pages of course we can see with our scroll bar that we are moving in our pages but we cannot see anything and we can see that if we create this one this um, another scroll bar and remember uh, we are actually doing different style for this uh, another div tag or another section so let's do that and I'm gonna create a p tag and yeah inside p tag I'm gonna have some text and I just wanna provide some text of like uh, let's just say 20 lines 20 sentences or something like that and in here like I shared okay we are moving we are pretty much moving but uh, I don't want like that so I just wanna customize our p tag and give it a width of 200 pixel a uh, height of uh, also it's gonna be like uh, 70 vertical uh, uh, viewport height so it's not gonna cover that much but currently you can see that uh, the contents are being overflowed so here I can say overflow hidden uh, no overflow y will be scroll so contents that are uh, overflowing in the vertical direction are going to scroll so if we put uh, here the overflow only then it's gonna give us another scroll bar right here so we just don't want that scroll bar in there so i am just going to put uh, overflow way scroll and here you can see that we are getting the same scroll bar as we got in here so we really did some work for this one and we are just going to do other works for this one also so let's do this so what should i do uh, first of all let's change the background to oh, let's just change it to white because i think it's gonna look pretty much cool now okay i change it to the blue color and i am giving the padding of one rim from all the sides and it's gonna change into blue color and i think i have given this blue color so yeah it's changing and now let's change the color to hashtag uh, it's not dollar it's pound okay uh, now we are getting this cool thing but we just don't want this and how we can just uh, customize the specific elements uh, scroll bar so for that I'm just going to copy this whole thing once again so from here let's copy this one come here and uh, paste that let's just uh, select this one and hit ctrl D so it's gonna select same thing like this one and in here I just want to change it to P so remember to put the element you just want a target so where you want to put our scroll bar we just want to put our scroll bar in this inside of the p tag so if contents are overflowing from p tags we just want to have so our own uh, scroll bar so for that we are just using that one and in here we can change it to 20 pixel background to let's just uh, see here what we have okay background is tomato uh, so same color is there in the background so I don't think we gonna uh, need that background okay we have to, to just define the background because uh, there is this default property so yeah of course I need to do that and in here also I just need to change the thumb so let's copy this one paste here and instead of track it will be thumb and this is gonna be pretty much uh, white okay let's save this come back again and we can see our custom scroll bar moving right okay now we just want to have this outline or something like that actually that is border 
and right now i'm not really going to do the, those border stuff because uh, that's gonna increase the unwanted length of the video so border shadow and i'm just gonna copy and paste the border box shadow in here so let's change the box shadow let's paste it and this is what we'll be getting so here okay it's not really changing why the hell is not changing okay i just freaked up and and this should be in here in the track let's save it okay now we are getting the things we wanted yeah we wanted those all the things and we are getting those all the things so in here we are really getting this scroll bar and here also we are getting this scroll bar and uh, we also have further more properties so let me discuss about those properties so in here we can see that we have we are having buttons so what this button means that this one this uh, right uh, here it is arrow so this is the button that we are talking about that this one is talking about and piece as it says the part of the track progress bar not covered and in here the corner so if i'll show you by this image you can see that when we will be having a horizontal scroll bar and a vertical scroll bar we will be having some corner so that's what that corner is representing and uh, after that what do we have Co website resizer so the, the draggable resizing handle that ever shared the bottom corner of the element so what does that mean is uh, that uh, here we have our draggable content so when you are working with text area we get something here the draggable thing so we can just uh, click and hold and just drag it uh, and the size of the that box or text area just increases and same way we can do with our scroll bar also so that's what they are saying and in here that if there are different stairs so you can just target the scroll bar that are horizontal only or that are vertical only and you can just use these all the properties uh, and yeah this is pretty much uh, the right documentation for you and there is lot more that i haven't covered in here so you can really read that if you want otherwise this is gonna be sufficient for you okay this is pretty much for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video